You guys reconvene. Um, we'll say, I mean, I guess, where do you guys reconvene? You said you were going back up to the spike. Where was it that you were going? Meet in that alleyway by Sone's. <laughs> Sone's. <laughs> we should go to Sone's. Mm -hmm. I'll just mm -hmm. say Sone's to Tet, and then maybe you can grab Skada. Mm -hmm. All right, Bring so you guys. Up. I'm just waiting for him outside the bar somewhere, just leaning against the wall. Okay. Yeah, you, you uh, step out of the bar, and you see your uh, your companion just kind of like leaning up against the wall. And Buzz is finally like, like kind of circling back. Definitely from an angle that was not watching over stuff, but, you know. He tried. I saw some <laughs> things, Paul. <laughs> saw Boy, a couple howdy. things. Poor howdy, it was an adventure. <laughs> so what's the story? And then I'll just relay the just fill shit in. back to it. And yeah, I'm, the I'm not gonna up. tell it all again. Yeah, we'll right say here. we'll say like, on wow, your guys. What an interesting and detailed story that was. That <laughs> can't believe we're gonna have to accomplish all those things in such a small amount of time with such a detailed and rich cast of characters involved. I know it's qu it's quite astonishing, isn't it? You can get you get the message about halfway up to meet at Sone's. <laughs> you know where to go. Mm -hmm. So he knows exactly where to go. Yeah, exactly. That's his pretend job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys get back up there, and uh, you're meeting in the alleyway. Um, so you guys all see you two are kind of hanging out for a couple of minutes before the other two show up. So, so are you okay doing this job? Sounds shady as fuck, but we need money. We do. I'd like to somehow get off this world and figure out if we have been sleeping for that long right from what it sounds like the only people that are going to get only people that are going to get hurt in this are some greedy corporate pigs and some gang bangers so. that's actually pretty true sounds like a win-win situation oh no. okay. <laughs> how are you guys doing oh, hello well i mean like we've walked just walked up and you guys are having this conversation yeah. okay my thoughts exactly Ted. my thoughts exactly so, we need to come up with a plan with this job. Why don't we take a step inside the building? Up the streets, maybe? Okay. It's alright, all right. I'm an assistant manager here. I'll, sure. I've got some leeway. <laughs> so you guys step into Sone's, and uh, you you hear like a really like dilapidated kind of bing bong. Wow. And uh, you, you like see uh, this like kind of shuffling form kind of coming out from the back room and then he like kind of looks up oh hey how are you and it's the uh, he this weird glass he's he, he's kind of like zooming in and out kind of one at a time and they kind of like oh, yeah. they like like even out about like you know two inches away from his face and he's like oh welcome uh, how can i help you oh you again hi uh, hey clocking in for a third shift boss uh brought some apprentices they're gonna they're gonna shout on me on the job today two, three. Give him a little oh. lady tip. Little he kind of looks at all of you, and he's like, mm, "These just seem like uh, adequate help, I guess. Um, I uh, got some things in the back. Uh, let me go get them, and I'll, uh, I'll set you to work if you'd like. Perfect. Nothing would suit me better, boss. No. Mm, all right. <laughs> and he kind of shuffles back. Who's the old guy? All right, so we probably got about 20 to 30 minutes before he comes back with anything. You're a loud bang. He's like, oh, fuck! <laughs> a couple okay. of boxes, like, bang over. Oh, I just go okay. over to like, the workbench and clear off some space, unroll, like, blue print parchment and start drawing stuff out. Like, <laughs> Nice crayon. All right, so what's the what's the plan? What the, what's the job? I think we just have to murder some people. <laughs> and I write it in big letters at the top of the page. Murder. <laughs> You're right. not wrong. First point done. Very good. Let's keep this let's keep this ball rolling. So it's a, it's a fight between the Thresh gang with with. Yeah, you might be hard of hearing, but a little bit quieter. So it's a fight mm -hmm. with the Thresh gang. Right. Allied with this with Lorsham Dynamics. Okay. Okay. All right. There will definitely be murdering people involved. Do we know what business Lorsen Dynamics does? Um, Augments. Dive. Yes, they are Augments. Uh, they're uh, prosthetics. 
Don't look to me for answers, man. I told uh, you everything. I, you did. <laughs> you Does did. augments ring a bell? Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Sure. Pretty sure. So this isn't sabotaging anything with them. This is just killing people that are trying to subjugate them. They're yeah. They're trying to. Um, yeah, they're trying to basically steal their shit, like take their shit, corporate take over. Them over. Okay. Not taking over the corporation, just taking their shit. The distribution. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Trying to trying to pull this out from my head here from our session, our last session. <laughs> there we did it at a brewery, so there were beers involved. Oh. Outside of this story right now. Note to everybody at home, notes are good. They are. I took exactly <laughs> two notes. I know you did. <laughs> exactly two. Two lines. I can't remember what they were. Lorshan Dynamics. Oh, okay. All right. And the guy's real name. Okay. <laughs> Those were my two I notes. I mean, the arguably important stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There's, you know, a few things. You're doing, but whatever. You're doing well. You're doing but well. for, what they, for what they do, though, they do it dynamically. Okay. <laughs> I can just envision it. I right can't now. argue that. So we, we're going to Pipe Town, right? Yep. We're going to Pipe Town to steal prosthetics from people that need prosthetics? No. We're going to Pipe Town to stop this rogue faction of this gang from stealing the shit, the, the prosthetics and whatever, from Lorshan. How much okay, do you guys well, know no. about Pipe Town? Hold on. Well, that sounds a lot less shady than I thought it was. Is that what we're doing? Yes. Are we stopping these people from accomplishing something, or are we taking them out of the picture? Both? No, Either no. Or. What are we getting paid for? What Both? problem are we solving? I... <laughs> are we killing? Both. We're keeping up their their end of the bargain with Lorshin while also helping them to take out this rogue sect. So we're taking Fair them enough. out completely. Fair enough. The no rogue survivors. Uh, the never indicated survivors. So. Never indicated that we were supposed to capture these people. They want it cleansed out. They've got That's a, a tricky situation. They've right? got they've got a a code of which they go by, and they are breaking that code. Right down on the side of the paper, survivors? Question mark. <laughs> right about that time, you hear kind of the shuffling of feet coming around the corner. He's like, "All right, well, I got some stuff here that you guys can kind of work on." And, and so you see, if you cross the polarity here, you would end up with a positive charge instead of a negative charge here, and oh. it's not exactly what we want all the time. Now mm. it's making sense. Yeah, exactly. Okay. He, he kind of like walks over, and he's got like a box of like. You know, just like random parts, and he kind of like pl plops it right on top of your map, and he's mm -hmm. just not even like looking at it, and he's kind of like staring at like Soren and then Zidix, you know, separately. Is like you notice that his like is eyes kind of. Like, I just put I put my hand in front of one of the lenses and give him the biggest little thumbs up he's ever seen. He's like, oh, 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 oh. oh. got it, boss. Get right to work on it. Oh, okay. I'll uh, be back with the. Yep, I'll check in with you later. Thank oh, you. Okay, tell me when you're done. And he kind of like shuffles it in the back. You know, we can't leave this unfixed. <laughs> we gotta do this for this man. I mean, the things he notices are few and far between, and uh. Well, let's try to just. I think come that's up least of our worries right now. Make him something. Oh, I, I can be busy with my hands while we talk. <laughs> okay. engineer that's check. what she said. Can I do an engineer? Yeah, sure. If you're wanting to kind of actually yeah. get something accomplished. I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Engineering 25. Okay. Eleven. Eleven? Uh, it looks like it's a kind of a basket of half-broken scanners, um, you know, just for, like, you know, flora, fauna kind of things, mm -hmm. most likely from, like, the... You see, like, a half, like, drawn-out note in very loopy, rough handwriting. It looks like it says Starfinder Society on the side, so most likely it's probably from them, you know, just a, you know, fixer-upper order. Um, you know, Tet's talking and he's already just like you know pulling stuff out like you know I'm just absolutely things. just grabbing parts and just seeing what i can make yeah yeah and you're like kind of piecing <laughs> stuff together uh, it, some of the stuff's not starting to fit so well as you're like continuing but you know I'm you, looking you're like doing i'm that. doing something yeah you get you just keep <laughs> I'm looking busy. like i'm doing something you're <laughs> well, like he is job shadowing me so it don't, it don't make sense <laughs> yeah. i'm playing my strength but yeah you're uh you're kind of like you know making yourself seem busy cool so that's okay. the important part. What else did 
What else did the, they say about this Pipe Town? Do we know the location in Pipe Town? Flourishing Dynamics. It's at like a factory? Yep. How long are they going to be there? Are they... When are they going to be there? So we should probably go right now then, because they could be there right now. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, like I said, the, uh, I assume we should get down there because I assume what he meant by don't worry when I was asking how do I contact him and find him, that meant that he'd find me. and He's there already then. Well, he's in the layer we were in, yeah, probably. With a very serendipitous, like, bing, you get a new message on your communicator. Okay. Let's get a, um, you tap it. It uh, doesn't say who the sender's from. Um, you just see, you guys seem confused. Here's a little help. And it looks to be the approximate location of where you need to go. Well, funny story, guys. Then I relay that shit back to him. Sure. Yep. So it's got that short me- message, and then what, what appears say? to be, uh, it says, you guys look confused. Here's oh. a little help. And then what does it show? It shows the direction to the uh, spot in Pipe Town that uh, he most likely is referencing. Okay. Let's get moving. All right. Let's yeah. We got to do some scouting. Yes. Or at least I do. <laughs> Move down there. Okay, you guys head up. Yep. Yeah. Move on okay. down. You guys walk out, and then like as you guys leave, there's a long, there's like the really low bing bong, and you hear kind of as you guys are walking away. Oh, hey, welcome. Oh. Mm, I okay. think we finished. <laughs> <laughs> and we finished uh, them all. Just, <laughs> just as kind of like an out of place kind of like you know zoom back. Uh, Tet's two or three that he worked on are you know working condition. Yours looks like one and a half jammed together sideways, and you hear a really loud <laughs> and you hear a really loud as you guys are rounding the corner. I hope that he doesn't dock you for that. <laughs> Hazard pay, what can I say? 